Hey everybody, and welcome to another Jimovi tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to go through a new module that I added that helps with additional correlations beyond what you would get in the base Jimovi modules. Uh, this video is going to be, it, it has been released right after the base correlation, partial correlation uh, tutorial video that, that just went out. So I thought I'd do them together. Before we jump into the data and the module, I am using the most recent version of Jamovi, version 2.0.1, which is for Mac only. Um, the 2.0.0 for Windows is still the latest version, as far as I'm aware. So don't worry, it should be the same, regardless of what major uh, operating system that you are using. So don't worry about that. Okay, so let's open up some data to uh, mess around with the new module. So uh, I'm going to go into the data library. And of course, if you have Jamovi, you will also have the data library. And we are just going to work with the same data set as I've opened in several videos, but specifically the last one, so we can see if there are any differences um, in computation. I don't expect there will be, but that's fine. We're going to use the Big Five Dolan et al. 2009 data set, literally five scale variables of the Big Five personality traits. Um, and this comes with every base Jamovi. You get additional um, data packages and data sets if you load these modules. And I think this comes with yeah there you go um this is the module data set so um you know i could uh go into one of these the big five is right here and we can do um partial correlations i do want to go through some of the other ones so maybe we'll we'll jump in here but in order to get this one in the data library you do have to uh add the module so let's do that so i am going to do uh it, it's soul matrix that's what we're playing with today way to bury the lead yeah i know uh we are going to do soul matrix i'm assuming that's how you pronounce it to add soul matrix you go excuse me you go up into modules this plus button here and you add that and you go to jamovi library manage install they basically open the same window and you're gonna go to available and you're gonna scroll down until you find it i think it's somewhere in the middle yep there it is soul matrix by hyunsu sil um i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly but this module is a tool for calculating correlations such as pearson partial tetrachoric polychoric spearman interclass bootstrap multi-level concordance analytic hier hierarchy process and allows users to produce gaussian graphical models and partial plot that's amazing if you're a fan of correlations and you want to make sure that you're presenting the right correlations exactly so let's jump into um the data library and we're gonna open the big five um the dolan et al set although i'm curious to know whether or not this is the big five as well uh, I'm going to go with what I already know, so we'll open up da other data sets for the other one. So let's open up Big Five here. It opens up our Big Five, and um, here we have neuroticism, extroversion, smooth this over, openness, agreeableness, and conscientiousness. Ooh, there. There's my conscientiousness going um, pretty full steam. I want to make sure that you can all see that. You can all live it. Okay, let's go into Soul Matrix. Uh, I've added other uh, other ones. I'm doing massive recording right now, so uh, I plan to go through all of these. That's why that, but they flash the entire time. It's really really annoying um but in any case <laughs> let's go let's open up partial correlation so what it's going to do it's going to open up a familiar looking uh module uh input screen but what i think is awesome is that um, hyunsu added uh this uh set of instructions controlling four box the table shows partial correlations if one variable is dichotomous the other is continuous the result table is equivalent to a point, point by serial correlation which is fantastic it can do both even though we have requirements here for scale variables i don't know about that so well, we're not going to explore that because i don't have any but just ignore, or just so just ignore that. Feature requests and bug bug reports can be made on my GitHub, but I just think it's um, amazing, which is which is really cool. I, I'd like to see more of this, to be honest. But you know, that's from a content creator to somebody who makes better content. Yeah, I'm just an end user. I'll, I'll say I'm just an end user. Okay, so let's let's uh, put neuroticism in our controlling for variable, okay? And let's put the other four over here so we can get the R and P values. And you can see that like you know looks pretty similar to what we already did and what we already did in the previous video pointing to that specific video. Um, so top right corner. Uh, okay, and so by default, display significant levels, right? So that's just the p-value, you take that away, it takes away the p-values. You can also flag significant, and of course it's gonna flag it in the same way it does for the main one. Um, you can also change your tail here. You can do a one-tail test or a two-tail test. By default, two-tail is selected, and I think that's important. But here's some other things that we can add to this, right? We can add the Gaussian graphical model, which is extremely cool. Um, it gives you the strength and direction um, for each of these variables with neuroticism as the controller variable. And so we have negative um, to X, EXT extroversion and um, CNS over here. And then we can also get the partial plot. Which I think it's fun too. So this is the partial correlation plot. Um, so here we have neuroticism to all of these. And you can see that uh, we try to get them both in the same. We have negative uh, neuroticism to CNS and extroversion, negative to agreeableness uh, and positive to openness strange and then we have very light 
So this is the partial correlation, partial plot correlation for everything. Again, it gives you direction and strength. You can see everything at once. So you can see everything at once. I think that's, I think that's really, really, really cool. Um, and the outside gives you a sense of the same Gaussian graphical model, EBIC, um, as you can see here. Uh, but then it includes the star in the middle. This, this star in the middle looks very, very interesting. So I think that's pretty cool. But let's look at other things that Soul Matrix can do, right? Because that's, that's where it's at. So let's open up um, a new data set and let's open up Interrater Reliability. So we've got the Rater. So we're going we're gonna to use the Rater, Interrater Reliability. So we're going to open up that one. Of course, it opens up a new window and I dislike that very much. But I get it. I get why. Um, and here we have, oh, well, it opened up the full thing. So I think that's pretty cool. We don't actually have to go through it. But we do have to kind of go through it. Because then what is the tutorial? So we have six variables, which represent six raters. And um, we put them all over in the variable here. So this is how it looks without any of that stuff. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Let's go. Um, can you, there we go. Beepers. So it's going to get rid of everything. If my computer knows how to think. Uh, yeah, data must be a vector type null. So of course, because we have these two things asked for, it's having a conniption fit. Let's, let's go ahead and put them back in. So of course, we're going to get the iterator reliability. It's lights kappa. It's lights kappa. That's um, a usually not in a rater reliability related a lot of times a um uh zero order or partial correlation is given so pearson's r is given for that but that's okay we can get the intercast correlation coefficient and then we could also bootstrap um imagine if we had a thousand a thousand of these so that'd be great you cannot change the bootstrap bootstrap agreement it is always at a thousand you can't change it to five thousand or ten thousand depending on what your um depending on what you're looking for here. So we have um, our iterator reliability, and lights kappa is a Z statistic, or a statistic that you can get a Z score from, I should say. So our statistic, lights kappa, is 0.459, and that correlates, or correlates, excuse me, corresponds to a Z score of 2.31, which, because we know E values from Z scores, corresponds to a P value of 0.02, which means that we have significant iterator reliability among these six raters. Okay, and then the intraclass correlation. So we have 30 subjects and six raters. Okay, so the subject variance is, oh boy, that's rough. 666, 0. 0.666. So that's how much variance is with each of these 30 subjects. And the rater variance is about the same, 0. 0.67. Okay, so um, consistency, about 50%. Okay, and the agreement is 0. 0.33. So interclass correlation is telling us uh, within each of these raters, what's the agreement and consistency uh, for each of the raters on each of these subjects. So in other words, how good are these raters at reproducing the same observations for these subjects? Kind of like, um, so it's kind of like the same observers measuring the same quantity. But since they're different raters, how alike are they going to be? And that's what you get with this consistency measure. This is only useful if you have, uh, if you are running like an observation study and have a lot of raters and uh, there's enough variability in the protocol that is the observations that these raters are, are rating. There's enough variability in them that you sort of need to see whether or not your raters or your observers are thinking of the same things when they're, so that is they're interpre interpreting the, cor uh, the, the protocol um, as well as the next guy. So, um, and then, so you have the agreement over here and um, you can bootstrap that. So we've got agreement. And so that's a pretty big 95% confidence interval, I'll tell you what. And that's the, you cannot change that as well. Um, the other thing you can get is the uh, Gaussian graphical model as well as the partial correlation plot. So we've got um, pretty solid correlations, but um, RT1 and RT6, that's, pr that's pretty weak sauce. That's pretty weak sauce. I don't know uh, what the issue is there, but you can see that actually the partial correlations with uh, some of these, uh, Raider 3, and Raider 4 are negatively correlated with, uh, with um, some of these other Raiders, right? Which has brought our consistency and our agreement down, right? The agreement among these Raiders is not actually that great. And the only thing that's going for us in iterator reliability, right? This, the fact that this statistic is fairly low uh, is that we have six Raiders. This would probably be pretty bad if we were left with, RT3, with Raider 3 and maybe Raider 5 or Raider 6. So you, you can use that to, to give you more information about reliability. And um, specifically for... Uh, iterator reliability. None of these other modules have this deep of information that's that's presented. So I think that's great for Soul Matrix. Okay, so other ones that I wanted to do. So I wanted to do Raider. I do not know tetrachoric or polychoric correlations. Never work with those. If you have any use for those, be my guest. I think the last one I wanted to do was the Spearman one. So let let's open that one since it's in the data library. Um, and let's see if I can find the Spearman. Yeah, the BFI, the ranking. Right. So Spearman is a ordinal is an ordinal rating, okay? So we have a lot of variables, 
Actually, let's open up the variable tab since it's great. It tells us how much there is. So we have A1 through A5, C1 through C5, E1 through E5, N1 through N5, and O1 through O5. Um, I believe these are big five. Agreeableness, conscientiousness, extroversion, neuroticism, and openness. And then we also have gender here. And of course, the Spearman correlation is going to give us a, a ranking. So I imagine, let's see if I double click on this, if I have a description. Nope, no description. So I don't really have a description on this one. But in any case, we get the Spearman correlation. And of course, it's all of them correlated with every single one of them. And these are the ranking correlations. I assume these are ranked um, questions. So these are the actual, um, we'll call them um, items. So A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, all answered on a one, two, what appears to be six scale. I don't see any sevens. So one through six scale on agreeableness. So agree, disagree. And then here are all the item correlations for each of those. And you would get Spearman for that because these are individual items and individual items are uh, of a Likert scale are technically ordinal, right? Here's what the Gaussian graphical model does. And of course, let's open up the module here. Nothing too fancy. You actually only get three options. Spearman or not, well, why would you open it if you're not getting Spearman? And then, of course, our Gaussian graphical model and our partial plot, and this is what they all look like um, all together. Ooh, boy. And this is how all of their partial correlations work. Uh, but Spearman, not Pearson. Spearman, not Pearson. And that is a look at the Soul Matrix add-on module uh, in comparison to the built-in partial correlation module under the regression analysis module. So you can do either one. Of course, Soul Matrix is going to give you far more options depending on the specialized need that you have versus only partial and semi-partial correlations in the built-in module. If you like this video, consider leaving a like. If you like this content, consider subscribing for more of these kinds of videos. Thanks for watching.